Today we are just uh, going to see the legendary leaf spring suspension. I have already changed uh, the front uh, uh, torsion suspension uh, that I have not recorded. It's quite difficult uh, to work with the torsion suspension and uh, to set the right height. I have already done the torsion suspension uh, of the front side and I have uh, done all the replacement of bushings of the front suspension and the torsion bar uh, re-cranked to its original specification. Uh, you can see the height of the vehicle. Uh, it needs some final adjustments that I will be doing later. So this time we will see what the leaf spring suspension. Uh, shock absorber and just painted it. These are the other stuffs. I have to entirely repaint the vehicle. It was very easy to unbolt all the bolts because all are stock bolts and which are talked uh, to the stock factory specification. So it was very easy for me to dismantle all this thing. Replace the rear suspension of Toyota LF50 frame. Uh, it's Toyota Collis. I don't have any camera person so it's very hard to show the dismantling. Uh, I was self doing the dismantling so uh, while fixing I will try to show you how to fix the leaf spring these are the leaf springs one of the leaf has broken all the bolts and uh, this rubber bushings we need to change uh, so I have just got a polyurethane bushing these are the polyurethane bushing uh, uh, so that it will stay there for quite a long time these are rear shackles uh, which is looking fine uh, and I'm not going to replace the shackle because uh, the shackle is original shackle and it is uh, fine. This is a front uh, uh, leaf spring holding bolt. Uh, 